Hi, it's Dave again with DRH Curly Creations. Today we're going to be uh, working a little bit with minimal uh, colors and minimalistic approach to the canvas. I watched Jessica Windsor from today and she did uh, an explanation of how she approaches uh, minimal swipes. So I thought, eh, let me see if I can put this together and put it into uh, put it into the video and share that with you. Uh, I learned quite a bit from her uh, her live today. It's her Monday Live series, uh, and if you're at all interested in what she does, you should check her out. Um, but let me get you down to the colors, and we'll see what we're going to be working with today. Starting at the top is going to be ball gown. This is a this little piggy pigment started out dry, and I wet it and made it into a paint. Second is going to be hammerhead by this little piggy, and it started exactly the same way. Down at the bottom is uh, is a uh, Payne's Gray. That's an Amsterdam product, and last is going to be precious gold by PVO. Both are my cell activators mixed with three parts. Australian Foltron. Now, if you're interested in finding out how I mix my paints and my pigments, you can uh, look above and see the videos that I have that explain that. Pillow paint is going down right now. This is uh, this is PVG Multi Pro, and it has been my go-to for up for almost two years now. I'm loading up the back of my palette knife. This is going to be a very minimalistic swipe. And I've had put the two cell activators and then my, my uh, two paints on the back there. I'm just doing a, a swipe across there, keeping it, trying to keep it very, very simple. Okay, I've loaded up the palette knife and I'm going to do a second swipe, which is going to come right at the end of the tail of the last one. And I'm just trying to get some, some flow and some interest and uh, something to work with. I'm not going to do much more of these, this as far as as far as putting down more paint, uh, adding some of what I had on the canvas already, uh, but I'm trying to keep it simple. Okay, now I'm going to just do some playing, uh, some scooping and dragging, and. Uh, Possibly just a little bit of uh, moving around in some paint that is already on the canvas. So there we are. We're going to start scooping and dragging. And start moving around and see what I can get as far as the as far as the, the flow. What you saw me doing just right there is I've shown you that if, if I can keep that part in the middle together and that's the part that's going to stretch out. Everything stretches from that middle and it just grows. I mean, it just expands from that point. That middle part with centrifugal force uh, is, is going to basically stay where it's at because that's where the least amount of movement is. And on the outside is where the most amount of movement, so that's what gets that's what gets pushed off the canvas. Keeping it simple is something I struggle with because I always want to put all my paints down on the canvas. And that's fine if that's what you're looking for, but I've been really wanting to see more of a minimalistic and more of a um, less on the canvas. I'm going to let you watch this for, for a few, minute, few minutes, and I'll be back uh, towards the end.
I'm going to pick up my tool and what I'm doing there is I'm I'm scraping along the edge the case that I got a uh, in case I got a a skin going there. And a lot of can happen a lot of times when you've been working a long time. Uh, you'll develop a skin around the outside. If you don't move that skin out of the way, it will show up in the final product. And so all I'm doing is trying to prevent that from happening by scraping through the middle and putting the paint where I want it to really be. Okay, I'm gonna basically, I've done a lot of spinning at this point and I skipped to the very end when I was almost done and to to bring you back in this this uh, piece took better better than 50 minutes to do and i really wanted to keep it down the, the length of the video down so hence i cut some parts out that are kind of repetitive and boring bringing it back to the center so that I can start to now show you the flywheel. You can see that I got some really very large cells and my small cells, which is right there in the middle there, uh, I'm not unhappy with that. And they, I did manage to keep some of my small cells. Uh, so this is overall, I, I'm not unhappy with this piece in any sense of the word. If you haven't already done so, I'd ask you to give me a like, smash that uh, subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications of videos that I put out. My goal to put out at least two per week. And I really am hoping you're finding them both enjoyable and useful. So I'll see you next time. Bye for now.